Hey, uh, we're the Ohio guys here at MasuriCon, and today we have Daryl Gilbo. 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 Very French. <laughs> uh, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. That's good. Uh, what is it like working in the industry today? Um, I love working in the industry in terms of doing anime and voiceovers. Um, you know, there was a, a time where it was kind of slowing down when the economy was, was not that great. And uh, anime seems to be having another resurgence again. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited about that. That's good to hear. Um, what is the favorite show that you've worked on? Oh, favorite show. That's hard. <laughs> you, can, you can do show, yeah. game, anything well, that you've worked on. Uh, you know, I mean, each one has its own thing that I like about it. So, I mean, some of I can't really pick one because they're all so unique. Uh, do Rara Ra is great. Uh, I'm wor working right now on, on uh, Magi. Uh, first season's already out. Um, ah, so many, so many. All of them, all of them. I love them all. Each one's your uh, yeah. own personal baby. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Um, what was it like working on Marvel vs. Capcom 3? Uh, that was really interesting because I never would have thought I would have gotten, you know, a character like that because he's so high energy and high strong and everything. And uh, I had a lot of fun doing that. I had a great director, Talos and Jaffe, uh -huh. directed that video game. So um, it was just fun. You know, it, was, it, it was nice because they would laugh, you know, about things I was doing. So I was like, okay, maybe I'm doing something right. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, if you could be any of the characters that you've played in real life, who would it be? And you can mix and match them. Oh, okay. You know, one of the earlier ones I did was a show called um, Overman King Gainer. And it was a show with, like with mecha robots and mm -hmm. that kind of thing. So I kind of like that he got to drive around in these ro fly around in these robots. So I would like to do that. And maybe I would mix it with uh, a Maimon from Blue Exorcist just for fun. Um, what was it like working on When They Cry? Uh, that was a lot of fun because that's a very dark anime. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't want to give any, anything away if you haven't seen it, but there was a point where my character goes away because of a certain thing. Mm -hmm. And I remember after that happened, I, I turned to the director and I said, I'm coming back, right? And she was like... <laughs> so... I loved working on it, but it was far too soon that my character went away. Um, what was it like working on Dulala? Uh, Durara was, was, was an incredible experience uh, because it's a show where so much uh, uh, secrets and uh, things about crazy things start unfolding step by step as you're watching the show. And voicing, and my character actually too is sort of in the same position as the viewer because so much of the neighborhood gets revealed to him as the, the story goes on and on and on, uh, as well as some secrets about him. Mm -hmm. So I had fun doing Mikado because it's such an amazing show. I was, um, I was intrigued and uh, amazed every time I went into the booth because of the storyline. Uh, what was it like working on Zoid's Genesis? Zoid's Genesis was uh, fun because it was such a different character for me. Mm -hmm. Um, only bad thing about that was that it's never been released yet in the States. Um, I believe they were showing like the first few episodes and on Toonami Jetstream at one point yeah, when then so. Toonami went out and then it's like it's never been seen again. Right. And I believe Viz Media Europe has it, has the rights to it. So why it's not been out, I don't know. But I had a character named Seijuro and uh, he was this sort of reluctant warrior. He was sort of retired. And he um, would train, he would now was just like a trainer, but really wanted to live a life of peace. And so he's one of the main characters, and he has a soul tiger type thing. And uh, I based that character on uh, David Carradine's Kung Fu. So if you ever get to see it, that's, that'll be my take on it. But that, I love doing that character. I really hope, I was proud of that show, and, and I, so I hope it really comes out someday. Um, what was it like working on Nura? Uh, Nura was a, a, a surprise. Because originally I was um, the demon cat that Bryce Pappenbrook voices. Mm. Uh, and then something happened where they changed the lead and I got a call one day uh, asking me to do the lead character. So uh, that was just sort of a, you know, a pleasant surprise to do uh, Rikuo. Yeah, and it was just dropped into place. Yeah, just dropped <laughs> into place. And it, it was fun being Grant George's counterpart because he's night Rikuo and I'm day Rikuo. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was kind of fun just having that dual personality. 
Um, is there anything coming out that you'd like to talk about or anything that's out that you'd like to plug? Well, I am uh, working on Moggy 2, uh, second season, where I'm actually, when I go back home, I'll be working on it uh, this week. Um, I'm doing another anime show that unfortunately I can't say anything about yet. Uh, but I also have a, uh, uh, a guest starring role on a web series called Bozos, the web series. So you can check them out on Tumblr or on Facebook. And my episode, it's about two clowns who are sort of losers. <laughs> They're reluctant clowns. One's an alcoholic and he just wears a red nose and he doesn't really want to be at a kid's party. So they, they play kid's parties. And uh, the episode I'm in, I am a ventriloquist, this kind of nice guy who has a Nazi dummy. <laughs> so you don't know if my character is crazy, if the dummy is possessed, or what's really going on with it. It's a very <laughs> funny, funny episode. It's called Dummies, but the, again, the series is called Bozos the Web Series, or Bozos the Series. So look it up online. Um, do you have a Facebook, Twitter, or any other social media where people can get a hold of you? Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty much just on Facebook, uh, so you can find me there, and I, uh, that's where I'll list the things I'm doing. Um, I'm not really big on social media. Sorry, I don't tweet, I don't tumble, I don't do anything. <laughs> I stay home and I read. Uh, <laughs> but you can find me on Facebook, so that's, the, that's how I keep in touch with, with fans and, and people. So. And just let, if you want to friend me, just put on there that you know me from anime, so that way I know you're legitimate. All right. Um, we are the Ohio Guys. I'm David. This is Daryl. Hey. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks, Ohio. <laughs>